All right, we got this old house and we got some wild bees in it and the owner asked me to come get them out. And so that's what we're doing. Taking some honey out of an old house, the bees and all. We're gonna try to save the queen bee in the whole nine yards. Right now we've ripped the boards off. We've got about 10 foot of comb. Getting up to the hive now and looking for the queen. This is what we've unboarded so far. And here's the middle. Okay. Oh, uh, in the box. I tell you what, you don't have to do that. Pull a frame out. Pull a frame. All right, they make honey extractors, which we'll show you in another video. But for a quick, easy way to uh, get the honey out, we just got a metal colander and a wooden ladle, and you just smash it that of smashing that cone up. And of course the honey's gonna run down and show you. The honey's just coming off there. Collect it in there. Alright, and then from there I move it to these colanders which filters it. It's a honey filter. And we catch it in there, and then it's a three-stage filter, and then you jar it. All right, so we ended up with quite a bit of honey. If you don't have the honey strainers, you can use um, cheesecloth. That'll work just fine. And, of course, this is from Wild Honey. And I'm going to show you. Uh, I filled up these large quart drawers and then the small one, and then I had just a little bit left. So I went ahead... Right. Uh, I went ahead and put it in uh, a honey container that I already had, uh, this bear honey, and you can see how clear and thin the store-bought honey is underneath, and you can actually see the line at which the natural honey starts, and it's just so much thicker. Uh, you, can, you can see the difference where it starts and where it stops. So definitely a much richer, thicker honey on top which is the natural honey compared to the store-bought honey that is very very thin so some good honey here